What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Das P, and I am back at it again with another video. As y'all have read by the title, girl, today we are going to be spilling the tea on what's been going on in my life. I'm going to be giving you guys an update on everything that's been going on with me, as well as just a full get ready with me. I showed you guys us doing this makeup look. We picked out my outfit, as well as I put you guys on to the fragrance that I have been obsessing over lately. So, super excited to be getting into that today. But before we hop into the get ready with me, I want to give a huge thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring today's video video following me for a while and y'all already know about Teddy Blake because I did do a video with them back in I think 2019 but we're back at it again because they sent your girl another fire handbag when I tell y'all Teddy Blake has some of the most high quality leather handbags ever girl so the handbag that your girl has been rocking lately is the Teddy Blake GG Stampedo bag this is the 13 inch I believe it does also come in either a 15 or a 16 I will have all the specs for this bag as well as the direct link to it down below in the description box all of the handbags are made out of premium leather straight from Italy girl high quality and even if you're not into the Gigi bag like I have so many different styles of bags in so many different colors on their website so they definitely have something for everyone and while Teddy Blake can be a little bit pricey for some these are high quality luxury bags you guys they all are 100% authentic leather as well so it's definitely gonna be worth every penny and the packaging is even high quality as well when you receive your bag it's gonna come in a really big box and inside of the box you're gonna receive your bag as well as a dust bag it gives that exact same feel of opening a brand new designer bag very high quality and then the bag itself girl y'all see how cute that bag is i don't even have to say too much and i love teddy blake because they keep their styles updates always something new always something for everyone i love my teddy blake bag it did also come with a strap as well for my girls who like that crossbody feel which i love because now i'm able to like change the look up if i want to wear it as a cute little shoulder bag i could do that but i could also wear it as a crossbody to you know switch the style up make sure you guys stay to the end of this video so y'all can see exactly how i paired the bag with my outfit because i love this look but yeah you guys Guys, if y'all are interested in Teddy Blake, I will have all the information for them linked down below in the description box as well as the direct link to my bag. Again, I want to give a huge thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring today's video. Now, without further ado, let's hop into this get ready with me. I'm so flustered turning this camera on and talking to y'all because I feel like I have not done a sit down video in a long time, especially not a chit chat get ready with me. I don't even remember when I posted the last get ready with me on my channel, but as y'all read by that title, today we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me we're also going to be doing a little bit of a life update first of all i haven't sat down and talked to y'all in so long so i feel like girl we have so much to talk about like my life is so i'm excited to sit down have a little girl chat with y'all we're also going to be doing our makeup i've been telling you guys in my vlogs that i want to post more beauty content on my channel so we're getting into the makeup today the look that we're going to be doing today is going to be something on the neutral side more so like soft glam y'all know that's what i've been into lately and a lot of you guys were saying that y'all want like a soft glam tutorial so today we're just gonna do like my little everyday soft glam we're gonna chat it up and yeah let's go ahead and hop into the video 
Okay, so first of all, let's get into our headband. Your girl is pulling out her TikTok that girl headband. I actually got this on Timu, but it's crazy because the original brand that makes the one that the Timu one is inspired by, they actually sent it to me like maybe a year or two ago before it was like super viral on TikTok. Why did I throw it away? Because I was like, girl, I'm never gonna wear this, da, 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 honey. And now look, here I am wearing one from Timu because I threw it out. Y'all, this is us from the future. Same beat, same hair. Y'all know, I told y'all I had to film today. So this is me from the future. I just wanted to say like power to tongue is so real because y'all know I was just telling y'all about that hairband and saying that the company had sent me one a couple years ago, but I lost it. So I ended up ordering those ones off Timu. Y'all, why did the company literally just email me? Not even 15 minutes ago. The same day, same day. And they're like, we want to see you some products. And guess what? The headband is one of them. Like, girl, they want to send me PR and the, the headband is in the PR. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's literally insane. I just wanted to put this in here because people don't think manifestation and the power of the tongue is real. And like, are y'all crazy? Like, same day, not even not even 24 hours, babe. Not even 10 hours. What the fuck? That's so crazy. All right, besties. So today we are going to be starting off with our brows. Lately, I've been doing more of like a semi-laminated brow look. Y'all know I've always loved that like thick, fluffy brow. So we're going for that today, but just a little bit more structured if you will. For my primer today, I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Pretty sure you guys have heard about it. it. Went viral on TikTok. Everyone and their mom uses it. And honestly, I see why, because it's fire. Going in with our old reliable LA Girl Pro Conceal to carve my brows out. Anywho, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the tea. So I know y'all have been wondering, girl, where you been at? Because I have not been as consistent as I would like to be. I always say that though. One thing about me, I feel like I'm consistent enough. Like, I don't really just be going completely ghost on y'all for like months and months and months. Honestly, I feel like that's one of my biggest struggles, like being consistent. And that's what I'm really trying to like work on right now, y'all. Just trying to be consistent with my content. I know that sometimes your girl just pops up and then she goes missing for a while. But honestly, life be life in. So whenever I go missing, just know I'm not out here just not filming or just fooling around. I be out here really trying to maneuver through life. I'm 23, y'all. Like, I don't have everything figured out. I'm still trying to figure my life out. And I know I do have a lot of, like, younger supporters as well. And I just want y'all to know, like, you're being 20s, please don't think you're gonna have your life together because you are not. Like, there is no manual for how to be an adult. I feel like even at 30, I'm probably not gonna have everything, like, figured out and perfected. So, we just been going with the flow, but life has definitely been life in. And I've been having a lot going on, which has required me to, like, step back and take a little bit of time not really away from youtube because i still be posting um i'm going in with my Too faced born this way foundation y'all know this is my fave this is in the shade sand yeah i use this today i've actually been using these a lot lately these lancome foundations but i'm gonna use my born this way today but yeah um I don't feel like I be taking really huge breaks from YouTube, but if y'all ever see that I'm like really consistent one week and then the next week I'm not posting, girl, nine times out of 10, I'm just trying to figure my life out. I've had a lot going on lately, you guys. I guess we could be a little vulnerable and I can get into it with you guys. So recently, your girl has actually had a death in her family. My father actually passed away um, a couple months ago, probably like two, two months ago now. Um, which was a part of the reason why I kind of took a step back from YouTube for a little bit I know I don't really talk too much about my family on here because I feel like my personal life is my personal life I know y'all sometimes will see like me and my sister or me and my boyfriend every now and again on my channel But I don't really touch too much on like my family or like anything like that I know you guys have never heard me speak on like my relationship with my dad or whatever But I guess since we're here now, I guess we got to talk about it child So me and my dad never really had a good relationship at all my dad has never really like been in my life has never really been around he was around like a little bit like one foot in one foot out when I was young my childhood I've had like really traumatic experience that's happened to me to the point where a lot of my childhood not even just my childhood but like even in my teen years a lot of stuff up until the age of like 14 I really can't even remember y'all and I know that that's not okay and I should probably get like professional help from like a therapist but I've been trying to like work it out myself child but yeah he was never really around when I was young my mom used to like call him when I would get in trouble 
But if you guys didn't know, I actually didn't even live with like either one of my parents growing up. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But I lived with my grandparents up until I was from the age of five up until the age of 13. And that's when my grandfather passed away. So once I started living with my mom, um, she would like call my dad when I would get in trouble. And she was doing it to like scare me, like say she would send me off with my dad and stuff like that. She would never really do it. And he honestly wouldn't do anything. Cause like, how are you gonna have any type of authority when you never around, like be for real. So I would talk to him like every now and again. And when we would have to like go to court for certain stuff when I was young, he would come obviously cause he has say so and what goes on as far as like, parental rights and like different stuff like that so i would see him more when i was young like up until the age of like five it was very rare y'all like i probably saw him like maybe two or three times um around that age but other than that he would never come around like i wouldn't talk to him or like you know nothing like that aside from that like we never really communicated he wouldn't call and like check up on me after all of the like court stuff was over i never heard from him really my mom probably kept like some type of contact with him just so he would be like updated on the fact that i was still alive but aside from that like we never talked him and my mom never like consistently talked about me or anything like that but yeah at that point the relationship was like done with i was over it because it's like you can't just keep coming in and out you know if you're gonna be out stay out so yeah like in my adult years me and him never had a relationship we never spoke or whatever but i ended up getting a dm from one of my other siblings from his side letting me know like she needs to talk to me with something serious going on honestly i already knew right then like either he had passed or he was about to like i knew it was something going on because they don't ever contact me they don't never try to like you know talk to me we don't talk i think i was around them a little bit when i was young but this is like age that i'm not even able to remember probably like three or like even younger than that but aside from that like i never really had a relationship so when they were reaching out to me um around this time i knew that it was something going on with him um, but basically, my dad was an alcoholic and he never really like got over that. He continued to like drink and drink and drink and he messed his liver up. His liver was basically failing and then he did have other like um, health issues, I guess, that he was going through. So it was to the point where he wasn't able to get a liver transplant and it really wasn't much that the doctors were able to do. He was on life support and it was basically like, it came down to the decision for us, what, you know, they were gonna do, if they were gonna pull the plug or if they weren't. I don't think he ever remarried after my mom. I don't know that whole situation. So basically it ended up being our decision, like me and my siblings on, what we were gonna do, and me, personally, I wasn't comfortable making that decision at all, so I just told them, like, I respect whatever decision you guys make because I don't have a relationship with my father, and I don't want that burden on me, you know? So they made that decision, and you know, it really wasn't much anyone could do for him anyway, so yeah, they said they might as well stop the suffering, and yeah, so he passed away. And I know that that's like a really touching topic, a lot of people deal with death differently and honestly i don't deal with death well at all but this death was really different i've dealt with a lot of different death in my family but with him you know it, it kind of felt harder for me to feel some type of way i'm not gonna lie for the first couple days i was really depressed i was crying and it was just more of a like wow he didn't even care to like fix our relationship type thing whatever the case may be blah 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 i'm not gonna get too like sappy in this video because i don't want to get emotional or anything it was kind of like a while i'll never get closure type thing so i was really sad and, you know i have my own perception of my dad so it's like i can't change anyone else's perspective on him so it was really hard to like get on instagram and like see my siblings posting about him and it was like a bunch of happy stuff and it's like wow i wish i had happy memories that i could share or like to even have happy memories at all so yeah it was kind of a lot for me to deal with and take in so i had to take some time away from youtube to kind of like just recenter myself as far as that situation goes and honestly sus it's like how dare you still make me sad again like how did you find a way to make me sad again and i'm not gonna lie that break was well needed because I had just been going through a lot anyway. Like even aside from 
the whole situation with my father it's just been a lot like being an adult is just a lot especially when you don't have like a lot of family or a big community around you of people to kind of help you and guide you so like i said i definitely want to um look into therapy because i feel like if i can't talk to nobody else child might as well give me a little therapist or somebody i could talk to a lot of the times i just try to keep my personal life personal because i love y'all but internet is a crazy place like i don't ever want anyone to feel like they know me too much to the point where they feel entitled to my life because this will never be that but yeah y'all that's that i've also just been working a lot you guys y'all know i got my nail sweet i didn't ever give you guys any update or like speak about it really on my youtube i know i did a day in the life of a nail tech video and i kind of touched on it a little bit but i got my suite back in september right once i came back from new york you guys i got my salon suite and it's been great um i'm about to spray my face with the morphe continuous setting spray and i know i haven't been like giving you guys all the details on every product that i'm using because i've been running my mouth but i'll try to leave everything linked down below it's been really nice having like a space to myself to be able to be creative i do get a lot of clients from my youtube channel that like find me either just through my vlogs and will see the nails that i do on myself or they have found me through like my nail tech vlogs and instagram and all of that so i honestly don't be wanting to have anybody in my house because that's a lot of different energies and y'all should know you're not supposed to have all those different energies and all those different people in your house so i definitely love having a space that i can call my own where i could work and have have different people coming in and out and just feel safe and secure having people not know where I live at and all of that. That's not to say that I'm like some big influencer or anything like that, but regardless of the size of my following, I feel like I wanna be safe at all costs. Like I don't want nobody in my house. I actually have been thinking about taking a break from nails though, you guys. I'm not sure just yet, but I think in August I might take a leap of faith i'm not gonna lie when i started doing nails i really didn't know where i was going with my journey so i never really thought i could like build it up to what it is now and now that it is what it is i've been a little bit overwhelmed just trying to balance work and youtube I kind of put my focus a little bit more on nails versus youtube and i don't like that because my goal was to never become a nail tech my goal was always to do youtube my goal was to never become like a nail tech it kind of just happened and i'm grateful definitely but it definitely can be a little bit overwhelming so i've been thinking about taking a break from nails and just like focusing on content I I just need to figure life out because like I said life has been life in. and to switch to only doing content creation that would be like a big leap of faith even though that's a leap of faith that I've taken before but yeah we're gonna see what happens with that but yeah y'all this is the face so far I feel like it's giving I honestly really love this is like a natural little like everyday beat not doing too much so I think I'm gonna stop here is that everything I want to do? I might add a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to use my MAC um, Old Darling Skin Finish. I love this. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. It's broken, literally. It's like falling out of the pan, y'all. Look. It's literally broken. But this is my favorite, so I cannot throw her out. Even aside from like the whole situation with my dad, just growing as an adult and growing into my best self has been... A journey like this is a journey that sometimes you have to be alone on um and that's something else that i want to touch on because i've been getting some comments about different people that y'all used to see me with and i just want to touch on that real quick if y'all don't see me with somebody no more don't bring them up <laughs> simple i have ever brought anyone onto this channel or if y'all have seen me with someone whether it be like instagram social media whatever the case may be and y'all don't see me with them anymore you don't have to ask it's it's very clear and also it's not your business but since everyone wants to know we can go ahead and get into it real quick no i'm not friends with a lot of the people that i used to be friends with and i want to do a whole video not like no messy type of video or nothing like that because there really is no mess no drama or nothing but um I want to do a video just letting you guys know it's okay to outgrow people. It's okay to end relationships. It's okay to be on certain journeys by yourself. And I feel like in the season that I'm in right now, God wants me on my journey by myself. God does not want me surrounded by a bunch of friends. God does not want me with the people that I used to be with back in the day. Whether that be 2019, 2016, 2013, anybody that's not supposed to be in my life will not be in my life. And that is beyond my control. But yeah, y'all, this is the beat so far 
I'm gonna go ahead and get into my lips. I get a lot of questions about my lip combo, so we're gonna do my favorite everyday lip combo that everyone always asks about. So for my lip liner, I'm using the Kiss New York Luxury 24 Hour Lip Liner. It's supposed to be transfer proof. I don't know about all that, but it's in the color Roasted Coffee. And I'm gonna just take this and um, line my lips. I do overline my top lip just a little bit. And sometimes I overline. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it today. We'll see. Okay, and then for my gloss, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Fenty Glow. This is the original one. I think they have a heat one or something, but this is the original one, the first one she ever came out with. And I still have it, and I still love it. It's literally just like the perfect lip combo for anyone that has any type of melanin in their skin. Like, girl, look at this. But it doesn't stop there. Now we're gonna get into our final gloss. This is the MAC Dazzle Glass in the color Moth to Flame. This has been one of my favorite glosses for years. My mom used to use this and she put me on. Like I used to always steal this from her. I'm actually running out. I don't know if y'all can see, but like she's running low. I need to grab another one soon. I hope they still make this because I ordered this one so long ago. Hopefully they do. And hopefully the formula is still the same because this is so bomb. But I only add that to like the center of my lips. Literally a little in the center and blend it out. And that is our lip combo. So yeah, y'all, this is pretty much it for our makeup look today. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, I just want to keep it simple because I have to film. So we're going to top her off with some more setting spray. All right, you guys, so our makeup is pretty much all done. I am gonna go in now and do my eyebrows. I know I added my um, eyebrow gel earlier, which is what I always do at the beginning of my makeup, but I am gonna go in and just fill in like little sparse areas like this that just don't have as much hair as I would like. For the areas that have kind of big gaps, like right here, I go in with my eyebrow pencil, but for the other areas, I just fill it in with powder, which you guys will see in a little bit. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It is in the shade Espresso. I've been using this for years. I have bought so many of these. It's my all-time favorite eyebrow pencil, y'all. It's so good. Um, I'm gonna use this and just, like I said, fill in those really sparse areas I don't like doing too much with my eyebrows because I like them a little bit more natural I feel like I already have a pretty full brow so I don't need too much product all I like to do is just clean them up make them look a little bit more sharp as you guys can see like y'all can see the difference this one looks more full than this one so I'm gonna do the same thing like I said just fill in the sparse areas and my eyebrows like I said are pretty full but the tails of my eyebrows are a little bit thin so I do like to go in and just darken that up just a little bit and then also on this eyebrow I kind of like to add a little bit more of an arch just so it looks a little bit more rounded similar to the other one but yeah, that is it as far as filling them in with the pencil. Now I do also go in and just add a little bit of powder to them. I feel like the pencil is more of like a waxy base. So if you wipe your eyebrow, it slides around. I'm just going to use the powder to set it. I have no idea if they still make this. I've had this literally for years, y'all. I've had this probably since I was in high school. And it probably is expired, but it still works. I actually stole this from my mom. But it's so good. I don't know if they still make this. This is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. It comes with a wax pomade as well as two different um, brow powders. I used this darker shade first. And I used this on like the ends of my eyebrows. And then I used this lighter shade and like flick it up through the top of my eyebrows. So just to have like that little ombre effect. So I'm gonna go in with the darker shade first. And as you guys can see, I put pan on it because I love it so much. And I'm gonna just go in and go over pretty much all the same areas that I just used the pencil on. And I will kind of just like glide whatever is left through my brow. And it's not much of a difference, but it's a difference. 
and if you have full eyebrows i definitely recommend using powder over um like pencil of course use the pencil for the areas that you need it like the really sparse areas where it needs to be a little bit more dark but i definitely would recommend using powder because they just look more natural and it's not like too cakey you know and i feel like the powder just wears different but of course y'all can do y'all brows how y'all like y'all brows it's just how i like my brows so like i said i just take the um lighter shade and i flick it up like this yeah y'all that is the brows now i already have my lashes done these are not lash extensions these are actually um strips little diy lash extensions i did myself i use foscara and i actually did go in and use the foscara lashes these are the kiss um i don't know which ones these are i think they're the let me see these are the bambi wispies that i'm using right now i went to sleep last night i kept like scratching my eye pretty aggressively right there and it came off so i'm gonna go in and just add one right here this other one low key look like it's about to come off too but i don't know she she gonna have to stay where she at because i don't feel like messing around like I said, I use my Foscara for this. This is literally the best product on the market right now, y'all. I don't know. I don't know who's out here still paying um, $200 to get their lashes done. But baby, get you some Foscara. Now, for my bottom lashes, I am going to add mascara. I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Y'all, I'm not a big, like, mascara girl. I've always been one to be like... Mascara is mascara, it don't matter what brand you get, da 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 da, da. y'all. This mascara is a game changer. When I say it makes your lashes so long, girl, it's so good. Like, look at the difference in my bottom lashes, and that's just with one coat. Like, do y'all see that? That is crazy to me. And yeah, that is our makeup look, you guys. I'm about to go off camera and do my hair, and then I will see you guys once it's time to pick out my outfit. you guys so your girl is all dressed y'all let me know how y'all feel about the outfit down below now to finish off our little get ready with me i do want to share with you guys the fragrance that i'm going to be wearing today for our fragrance today we are going to be wearing the dossier woody freesia this fragrance is inspired by armani c and y'all it smells so good the best way that i could describe this would be like a like a tropical cocktail like it literally smells like a margarita your girl's trying to get consistent, so hopefully I will be seeing you guys once a week starting in August. But yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, turn y'all post notifications on, and to the next video.